Genius Kids. Cultivating love for learning. Lesson 4. Kinds of nouns. Knowledge acquisition. There are six kinds of nouns. One proper noun. Two common noun. Three collective noun. Four material noun. Five abstract noun. Six possessive noun. Kinds of nouns. We read only four types of noun in this class. One proper noun. Read the following sentences. One, we live in India. Two, I live in Delhi. Three, Neha sang sweetly. Four, Rohan is my friend. India is the name of one particular country and is therefore called a proper noun. Merit is the name of a particular city and is therefore called a proper noun. Similarly, Neha is the name of a particular girl and is therefore called a proper noun. Rohan is the name of one particular boy. So, Rohan is called a proper noun. A name which belongs to a particular person, place or thing is called a proper noun. A proper noun always begins with a capital letter. Two common noun. Read the following sentences. 1. He is a good boy. 2. It is a big city. 3. She is a pretty girl. 4. It is a big country. The name boy may be given to any and every boy, to Tom, Mohan, Hari and Ashok. It does not belong specially to any one particular boy. It is a name common to all boys. Therefore, boy is called a common noun. The name girl can be given to any and every girl and is therefore called a common noun. The name city can be given to any and every city and is therefore called a common noun. The name country can be given to any and every country and is therefore called a common noun. A name which does not point out any particular person, place or thing, but is common to all persons, places or things of the same class or kind is called a common noun. 3. Collective noun. Read the following sentences. 1. This is a bunch of keys. 2. I saw a flock of sheep in the field. 3. The army marched away. 4. There was a large crowd of people in the street. In sentence 1, the word bunch stands for a collection of keys and is therefore called a collective noun. In sentence 2, the word flock stands for a collection of sheep and is therefore called a collective noun. In sentence 3, the word army stands for a collection of soldiers and is therefore called a collective noun. In sentence 4, the word crowd stands for a collection of persons and is therefore called a collective noun. A name given to a collection of persons or things taken as one is called a collective noun. 4. Material noun. Read the following sentences. 1. The milk is very hot. 2. The sugar is very useful for cooking. 3. Iron is a good material. In sentence, 1. The milk is not a person, place and city. It is a material. We drink it. So, it is called a material noun. In sentence, 2. The sugar is an eating material and is therefore called a material noun. In sentence, 3. Iron is a material. It is used for making iron things and is therefore called a material noun. Like, share and subscribe.